In the previous videos, we have created a little piece of music. As it is now, it is still a little dull. So let's add some ear candy to it. In this episode, we will create a whoosh from scratch. But what is a whoosh? A whoosh is some white noise for which we progressively let high frequency pass with time. It creates a sense of anticipation and announces a transition or an ending. The one we will create will sound like this. We will create this whoosh from scratch by using a Thor synthesizer and some effects to enhance the stereo spread of the sound. We will mostly be working in the rack, so let's press S6 to bring the rack full screen. Let's create a Thor synthesizer. And have a look at what's in the belly of the beast by clicking Show Programmer. Oh, lots of buttons here. It comes with a preloaded patch. We can reset the Thor by right clicking on the Thor at a place where there are no knobs. And in the contextual menu that appears, select Reset Device. By the way, this command, Reset Device, is available for all rack modules which can load patches. So now, in the Thor, we have a really basic patch which is loaded. Like all synthesizers, the source of the sound in the Thor is generated by oscillators which are located here. We can have three oscillators working at the same time, and various kinds to choose from. The one we will use to create our whoosh is the noise oscillator. The sound exits here and enters a mini mixer where you can adjust the relative volume of the three oscillators. Do you notice all these grey arrows? They represent the path that the sound can take. So for the mini mixer here, you notice two outputs. Let's follow the top one. It arrives to a series of knobs, one, two, three, that define if the sound of the respective oscillator can pass or not. Let's remove oscillator 2. Now, we only have the sound of oscillator 1 that will enter the next stage, which is a filter. I can choose a type of filter by clicking here. The output of the filter goes through a shaper. A shaper is a little effect that can add warmth or distortion to the sound by modifying the shape of the sound wave. Then, the user has the choice of where to direct the output of the shaper, either directly to the amplifier or through a second filter that we can also choose. There is also another output to the mini mixer that goes directly to filter 2. So basically, you have the option of running both filters in series and in parallel. After the amp, the sound can go through a third filter that we can also choose. And a delay and a chorus that we can set up. Of course, there are the other standard modules that you can find in a good synth. Two LFOs that can be assigned and therefore modulate various parameters of the synth in the matrix below. Envelope generators, one for the amp, one for the filters, and one for the global output. In addition, you will find a little step sequencer here. This course does not intend to go deep into how a synthesizer works. I might set up a course on that in the future though. Yet for now, I thought important that you get the grips on the basics so that you can enjoy this video fully. OK, let's build up our whoosh now with the Thor. To create our whoosh, we will need a noise generator. 
the noise generator allows us to select different types of noise. This is the sound of a white noise. A white noise is a sound that contains all frequencies. The noise generator can also create other type of noises, like a color noise, static, and other types. And we can also play with this parameter here. all these parameters. But let's stick to white noise, which is quite close to what we want. However, you notice that it decays quite quickly. So I will increase the decay in the amplitude envelope. I would like my sound to be a little richer. So I will create another noise generator, but this time choose a colorful noise. Let's turn off generator 1. This is what I have. Let's turn it on again. The secret in creating a whoosh will be to play with the filter. By increasing the cutting frequency with time, we get this specific effect. I will be playing a lot with this knob, so I wish to assign it to a knob of my controller. The sound is a little dry, so let's put a little bit of delay that we sync with the tempo and some chorus. Hmm, let's decrease a little the time of the delay. Better. Still, the sound lacks a little bit of stereo spread. So let's insert some effects in the channel strip that contains a thaw. To insert effects in the channel strip, let's click here. We want to increase the stereo spread of our whoosh. A good way to do that is to have two delays running at the same time.